Hi, it's Matt here from Go Green Autos. So here we have a Mazda MX-30 electric vehicle. And in this video, I'm going to explain and show you what the heads up display is. So what I find is often when people are buying their first EV, they have come from an older EV. It's the first modern car they've had. Often they're moving up from say a 10, 15 or 20 year old ICE vehicle. So there's a lot of equipment you get in modern cars which they just simply haven't seen before or understand what it does. A lot of safety equipment and a lot of tech. And this Mazda MX-30 has a heads up display. So in this video, I'm going to, um, if I can keep the door open, there we go. So I'm going to take this for a drive and see if I can show you how it works but it is rather difficult for this to be picked up on the camera, but I'll do the best I can. So before I start driving, I'll just show you outside. Uh, cars that have heads up display, they have this cutout in the top of the dashboard where there is a screen in there projecting information up onto the windscreen. But as a driver, you don't see it on the windscreen. You see it floating on the road ahead, sort of above your bonnet in your line of vision. So normally this sort of technology would only be seen on top-end premium cars like Range Rovers. The Mazda MX-30 is the first car where I've seen it uh, right across the range, even on the base model. You get the heads-up display as standard. There may well be others now, but traditionally it's something you would only see on much, much more expensive cars. So it's starting to get dark now, so I'm hoping that will show up the imagery a little bit better and it should be able to be picked up by the camera a bit more but let's jump in and see if we can see it when we go for a drive so i don't have the gear to mount the camera up here on the glass or anything uh, and obviously i'm not going to be able to hold the camera while i drive um, but we'll start the car up here and in front of me i can see zero miles per hour and i'm hoping by parking in front of those fir trees there the camera might be picking it up so if you can see that there i don't think that's focusing but that's what you see is uh, replication of your speedo so you can always see the speed you are driving in front of you but that's just the mineral information at the moment once we get on the road it's going to show a lot more information so now i'm uh, driving off the track and just about to get on the road we have got the road speed projected up there as well so if i just zoom up you can probably no i don't think it's focusing but we have a 60 miles an hour on the left and then our current driving speed which is zero at the moment on the right but yeah that's not focusing um just as a side note quite interesting in this car we've got the 60 miles an hour up there as well that's what it is projecting up on the heads up display but this car also puts a red tick on your speedo to show you what the um, speed limit is on the road that you are on and this changes obviously depending on the speed limit so when you're in a 30 it puts the tick here and that's quite useful and if you drive beyond that point so if I drove at 70 on this road everything beyond it changes red as you drive over the speed limit and it's quite a nice feature which I haven't seen on other cars before. So the whole point of a heads up display is all that critical information you might want when you're driving is up there in your line of vision while you're driving and you're not having to glance down and look at the dashboard so what you get is the road speed your driving speed uh, this car's also got blind spot detection so it puts the lights on in the mirrors when something is in your blind spot and that is also replicated uh, on your heads up display and it puts um, marks on the side, little sort of semicircles on either side to show you when something is driving in your blind spot. And it also puts your satellite navigation. So using the dial here, we've got our sat nav up there. So let's add a destination. Let's just go to charging stations and select one. So we've got a charging station at Waitrose in Abingdon. And then I say navigate here start navigation so obviously we've got a navigation up here as normal but up on our heads up display i'm not sure again whether this is going to focus uh, that's a shame my camera just won't focus on it i'm just you're gonna to have to take my word for it um but up there below our 
road speed, um, well, speed limit, driving speed. We've now got some symbols showing uh, where we've got to turn. We've also got the distance to that turning and we've got the um, road name as well. So you've got all the navigation information you need right in front. So now not only don't we need to glance at this screen, we also now don't need to glance at that screen. And you know I said when you go over the speed limit on a road, the dash turns red up here to show you're doing more than that road should allow. The same thing is up on the heads up display where it's got this uh, 60 speed limit sign that pulsates with another red ring when you're driving over that 60 miles an hour. I realise this isn't really going to look that good because the camera just won't focus on that heads up display so you're not really seeing what I'm seeing. Um, but you can adjust that as well so um, using again the knob down here and going into the vehicle settings we can then go to I think in vehicle displays active driving display I think that's the one yeah it is uh, here we can adjust the height from minus 15 to plus 15 again I don't know whether that's picking it up that's at its lowest position yeah I think you can see that and then you can adjust it to its highest position so I'll put it back to zero then we can adjust the brightness so let's try doing the brightness up that's to its maximum let me just see if that will focus there we go I don't think it's focusing but you get a better idea of um, what I'm seeing and we can adjust it to its minimum I'll just put that back to zero we've then got tilt adjustment and I'm um, I'm not sure whether you're seeing that, but we can tilt it left and right a little bit. Don't know quite why. Maybe if you've got a bit of a crooked neck and your head, your eyes aren't level. But that allows you to, um, it's only five degrees, plus or minus five degrees, but it allows you to tilt it a little bit. And then here we've got, we can decide on what we want in the display. So we can decide whether you want navigation, the street name, lane guidance, traffic signal rec recognition, or we can just reset the settings. So I hope you like this little video and gives you some idea of the technology you get in modern cars. If you like the video, please do click the thumbs up on YouTube because that really does help other people find the channel. And do subscribe if you haven't and have a look at the uh, back catalogue of hundreds of uh, videos I've done on electric vehicles on the channel and uh, more coming soon. I've just turned around and realised I was facing the wrong way. I should have been filming against this stunning sunset. They never really show up very well on camera but it really is a cracking sunset this evening.